All right, so as promised, I thought I'd uh, make a little video on the subframe. It's a bit of a, uh, a hot topic, actually. If you look over the um, Nasioc forums, it's everywhere, like plastered all over that on exactly what this lower subframe does. So as you can see, hooks under the body here, runs all underneath, hooks up here, nothing hangs off it. Not, it doesn't hold anything up. This is all attached to the frame. Runs all the way underneath, attaches there, and then runs all the way around to the other side, right? So a lot of guys take this off. Um, so you simply remove all these bolts. There's uh, half a dozen of them, eight of them. Um, there's eight bolts in total, um, and you can take it off. Now, it doesn't weigh a lot, um, but the question remains as what exactly does it do? Now, from my post the other day, um, a lot of guys made um, very valuable feedback, actually. I had mixed reviews. Some guys say, take it off. Some guys say, it's a waste, take get rid of it. Other guys say, no, absolutely, you need to keep it. So, um, one of the arguments is, well, look, it's got eight mounting points. So, one, two, three, uh, and four, and actually five there. Um, and then five on the other side. So because there's so many mounting points, the argument is made that it must be for rigidity. Now I have heard that it is for a low speed um, collision. So if you're in a low speed crash, it can help um, help the car from twisting or you know um, being broken under, under that impact, but only at low speed. So it's like, well, in a dedicated race car, do you need that? But if it adds rigidity, then you do want that. So, it's a bit of an interesting question. Now, mine does actually have, for those keen-eyed, a huge kick in it right there. And that is where the previous owner, before my time, had gotten a jack, I'm assuming, or something, or hit something. I'm assuming he's probably gotten a jack and put it right there and jacked up there and it's pushed the whole thing in. Now, because it's only flimsy aluminium, it's really like, I don't even think it's steel. It's so flimsy and, I don't know. It's a good question, so, I don't know. I'm, for science, I'm considering taking it off and running a track day with it off um, and seeing what it feels like or even just take it off and go for a drive up and down the road um, and really see the difference. Because um, there's a lot of arguments there. Some arguments are saying um, not only does it add rigidity, but it adds like, um, like handling. It adds like, obviously rigidity does affect handling, but it actually directly correlates with uh, steering geometry. Now, I don't totally agree with that one. Um, sorry for those who have messaged that in, but I can't see really how that's a thing. Um, but yeah, it's, a, it's an interesting one because um, I know a lot of guys have just taken these off. Um, now mine has had numerous hits um, and one of the points, shout out to CW Garage, um, he made is, well, if you're on track and you come off the track, um, if you hit a tire or anything like that, you run over a tire or a cone, what then? Like if you get a tire caught underneath here, what's the first thing it's gonna rip off? It's probably the oil pan for me is quite low, um, bottom of the exhaust, but also it hits this. And as you can see, in a previous life, this has taken some hits. Like that's a big hit somewhere. It's taken a hit there. Now I, I don't remember, I've never run over anything on the track, but obviously at some point, the previous owner or somebody has run over something and it has protected the car. So I'd rather this thing get hit um, than, you know, sway bar mounts or, you know, anything like that, that lower control arm that actually, you know, is vital. So interesting, could be protection. Um, in future, I'm actually gonna be running a splitter on the car. So this also provides perfect splitter mounting, um, mounting frame, if you will. So this will be perfect for that. Um, so, I don't know, there's some good arguments there. Good amount of splitter off. Uh, and I, I'll fabricate my own mounts anyway for that, but interesting. Um, what do you guys think? Um, let me know. I'm uh, intrigued to see what different people think. Uh, I've actually known a couple of other race cars to rip this off and go tubular um, subframe. Now that's obviously an expense thing as well. Um, but it's, uh, it's an interesting one and I'm really intrigued, um, both for science and otherwise, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Cheers, guys.